Located across from the Parc Montsouris in Paris's 14th arrondissement, the Fondation des États-Unis is a private student residence within the international community of the Cité Internationale Universitaire de Paris. La Fondation des États-Unis propose 267 chambres individuelles. Le cinquième et dernier étage possède des ateliers réservés aux étudiants en arts plastiques et des chambres insonorisées pour les étudiants en musique. Graced with 7 meter high ceilings, a Steinway concert grand piano, and floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking an enclosed rose garden, the Grand Salon is a welcoming space for concerts, lectures, and receptions. Renovated by experts from the Louvre Museum, with support from David Rockefeller Jr., the Florence Gould Foundation, and the Conseil Supérieur du Mécénat, the Grand Salon and its frescoes have recently been cited as historical monuments by the French government. Afin de soutenir la créativité des jeunes artistes et musiciens en résidence, la Fondation a créé une organisation nommée PON, Porte ouverte aux nouveaux talents, qui organise des concerts, vernissages et diverses manifestations culturelles. It has remained a base for me, even after I've left. I've always come back and played here, and I've, I've met so many people, and it's, it's just been a great resource for me as, some, as a foreigner in Paris. So it still feels sort of like home in Paris for me. I love the building. I love the setting. I love the atmosphere, and I love the support of the arts. I think that's, that's been so important for me. So I, I hope that all of those things stay. I think the support of the arts has been crucial for me. So I would really hope that that stays part of what this place is about. I was delegated to the Residents Committee, so I represented the Committee of the States Unis au sein of the Delegation General. And so, effectivement, when I was there, we defended a un, project un of adoption of a charter of development durable to be able to incite all the houses to take measures. Euh, des mesures environnementales. Alors il y a deux choses. Déjà, il faut regarder un peu la bibliothèque dans laquelle on se trouve. Et en fait, c'est une bibliothèque qui est assez magnifique. Et c'est super de travailler ici la nuit. Et donc j'ai passé beaucoup de soirées, surtout l'année dernière, à travailler jusqu'à des heures et des heures du matin, enfin jusqu'à 2 heures ou 3 heures du matin. C'était vraiment une ambiance studieuse excellente. Et euh, la deuxième opportunité que j'ai rencontrée, c'est la langue. Enfin, je suis natif francophone et donc c'était pour moi un privilège et un plaisir de pouvoir discuter avec des Américains et de pouvoir aussi faire corriger mes dissertations par les Anglais parce que j'écris en anglais, j'écris ma thèse en anglais mais avec un anglais scolaire et donc c'est bien de pouvoir avoir une relecture par des natifs qui, qui apportent un éclairage différent. Quoi. There's really an incredible mix of people in the house. Um, they, well, some people tend to keep to themselves, but the kitchens are really a place where those that want to meet people and those that want to interact with other, um, be it Americans or, or people of other nationalities that live in the house, come to mix. And um, at the beginning of the year, it's always sort of people are kind of tiptoeing around, but you start to make friends. And as a resident of the fifth floor, I'm surrounded by artists and musicians. And what's so wonderful about that is that you can't walk up to the fifth floor without generally somebody having a door open, but also hearing music coming out of all the rooms. And um, the community that forms because of that is very strong. My life after leaving the Fondation has, uh, I have to emphasize, been greatly enriched thanks to the people I met here at the Fondation. When I was a, uh, an artist in residence, I already started teaching uh, just for the fun of it. And thanks to that, I was able to then get another teaching job. And the director, uh, Terence Murphy, uh, who was and still is a professor at uh, the American University, was very encouraging to me. And recently, I've been able to join him uh, as a colleague at the American University, where I teach painting. So, uh, I've been very fortunate in that I've been able to uh, stay in the place that I've learned to love, uh, loved initially but love more now, and uh, teach what I'm truly, uh, truly passionate about. Uh, 
I'd say work hard, have a lot of fun. I think it's terribly important that uh, the students here are involved in an academic uh, cursus. They're following uh, either third year abroad or they're working for their doctorate. And I think that they really have to uh, work very, very hard at the academic side of their life here. And then have fun, enjoy being in Europe, in Paris, uh, meeting uh, people from different nationalities, different cultures. It's a learning experience. It, it should be a fun experience.